Joe James. In this video, we're going to cover file operations using Python. So we'll learn how to open and read data from an input file and open and write data to an output file in Python. So we're going to start with an input file that has the following contents. We have Chevy, uh, Camaro, Corvette, Spark Bolt, and then we have a Ford and a few Ford models and Toyota and several Toyota models. So there's three lines and they're comma separated text. And in our file ops Python program, we're going to have a line first called infile, which is the name of our input file, a text file that we just looked at, and the name of our output file, which we're going to use in a few minutes, and that's called output file.txt. And we're going to start with just opening the input file and then reading one line at a time and printing that line. So that's what these three lines do. With open, in file, as F1. Now we can use F1 to refer to that input file. For line in F1, and basically line is reading in one line of text at a time from the input file. It's going to repeat this for loop for each line of text in file 1. And then we can do whatever we want with it, and here we just simply choose to print the line of text. So line is basically a text string, and we're going to print it out to the screen. So let's take a look at uh, the run of this and see what it looks like. So our output, we get all three of our lines of text, but they're double spaced, oddly enough. So we can solve that by adding to the print statement line open square bracket and close square bracket colon negative one, which will strip off the very last carriage return from the end of each line. So we don't get double spacing. So let's try running that. And you can see here we don't get the double spacing anymore on our output. Now suppose we only wanted to look at certain elements instead of the entire row of text. So what we could do is split this line of text or tokenize it by commas. So it's comma separated. We can simply do line.split at commas and we'll assign what it returns, which is going to be a list of strings or words, to this variable we'll call row. So row is basically a list of strings. And then we're going to print just row of zero for each one of those, for each row, which is the make of each type of car. So let's see how that runs. And you can see we get back Chevy, Ford, and Toyota. Now suppose we wanted to print out a formatted type list for each one of these types of cars. So again, we could split at the comma, and then we could print the make of each car, which is the first item, we're going to call it row uh, of zero using the square brackets, which is the first item in that list row. And then we'll do a, a new line followed by some dashes. And then for each i in one to the length of the row, we'll print out row of i. In other words, we're going to print out every element after the zeroth item, so one till the end of the row. So let's see what we get on this. Now you can see we're printing out Chevy and then the list of Chevys, Ford and the list of Fords, and Toyota and the list of our Toyota models. And the last read operation we'll take a look at is, suppose we wanted to add each one of these rows of items to a list so that we could use them in our program. In other words, read in the data from the text file, load it into some type of a data structure, here we're basically using a two-dimensional array called cars. So we're saying cars is a list, but it's actually a list of lists. And each one of the lists in cars is a row. So with each row, we split it at the comma, and we append it to cars. So we get a list of lists. And then we'll just print out one of them. So cars of 0, 0 is looking back at our input file. The 0th row, the 0th item, that's going to be Chevy. So let's run that and see what it prints. And as we expected, it prints out Chevy, the zeroth row and the zeroth item. Now let's take a look at how we can write a file. Again, we need this out file equals output file.txt. That's the file name that we're going to write to. That's essential to have that in the opening lines of our Python program. And what we're going to do is basically write the car manufacturers, the three car manufacturers, Chevy, Ford, and Toyota, to our output file. So we do with open out file 
comma a and the a is the mode that we're opening the file in and a means append so we're basically going to be appending to our output file which we'll call f2 now if we didn't have this a here each time we opened up the file to write to it we would be overwriting any existing contents in the file we would wipe out any content that was already in it so that's dangerous I recommend using this A unless you're sure you, you don't mind erasing the current content in that file. And if the file doesn't exist, it will simply create the file for us. And then we're going to loop through each car, which is basically a row, again, a row of cars. And we do f2.write, which is similar to a print statement, except it's going to write it to our file. And we'll print the manufacturer of the car, and followed by a carriage return. So we'll run that, and then let's take a look at the output file. And in our output file, we have Chevy, Ford, and Toyota, the three names of the cars. Now if we wanted to print out the whole list of cars for each one of them, or the whole row, we could print out, um, basically we convert car, which is a whole list. We'll convert that to a string. We'll print out the whole line to this file. So let's save that and run it. Now we'll look at our output file, and we can see, yes, we printed out uh, Chevy, Ford, and Toyota again, but we also printed out the whole row for each one of them. And it's in list format, so it's a list of strings, as you can see. So in this video, we learned how to write a Python program to read data from a text file, load that data into a basic data structure, and write that data to a file. I hope this was helpful for you. You can see all of the code posted on my GitHub site here. And if you like this video, please uh, make sure you subscribe. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.